and it made the greatest difference in this country. All right. yep. His father created part of the middle class because transportation in this country, I don't care what anybody says, it's the best entity of craft of workers because you can't operate a work if you can't get stuff from point A to point B. That includes our kids. Yes. James Hoffa is on MSNBC. He's on the Edge Show. Everybody wants to know what his thought process is. We were one of the first labor organizations that actually endorsed President Barack Obama. Charlene and I, as international vice presidents, get a chance to sit at the round table so we make sure all of our voices is heard. Now I can tell you, not one iota, because I see him blink, was it in about the middle class and the working class and the rights of working people, their human rights in this country. I tell you, brothers and sisters, it's an honor. And I'm proud to serve with them. And I tell you, if I had not did so many things, we started off in Cincinnati earlier this week, had a great rally. We ended up in Toledo, had a great rally. And everybody was there, was here to see Jim Hoffa as we continue to go around this country doing what I call God's work. Yeah, all right, all right. That's what we're doing. All right. Brothers and sisters, without further ado, one of the real rock stars, yeah. one of the ones that get it, our general president from the team, sir, James Hopper. What a crowd. What? What? Listen to all these great speeches. They have all these great congressmen, congresswomen. Uh, we really got to have rock stars here. You talk about rock stars. We got them. We started out this week in Cincinnati. We had rallies there. Cincinnati's fired up and ready to go. Yeah. And then we went to Toledo. And Toledo was fired up and ready to go. We had 500 people at a rally. Is Cleveland ready to go? Yeah. No. Because Cleveland's where it happens. This is what it's all about. I had my TV on the other day. The TV said, you know, no Republican has ever won that didn't win Ohio. Right. I got bad news for Mitt Romney. You ain't going to win Ohio, and you ain't going to be president. Yeah. I tell you that right now. Yeah. We got this thing going. Yeah. Well, I was here a couple years ago with SB5. We had this, this crazy governor come in here and try and take away collective bargaining. You know, and I stood on the steps of the Capitol in Columbus, Ohio. We had 50,000 people there. As far as you could see, they're saying hell no to this. And they passed this bad law taking away collective bargaining. But we didn't stop there. All of you, you were all part of it. We got a million signatures. We put it on the ballot. We got collective bargaining back in Ohio because of you, because of what we stand for, because of the House of Lincoln, because all of us did that. It is that same energy we have to have this time. The same million signature, the same power that we had when we did, we got rid of SB5. That's what we got to have this time. And there's more at stake than ever before. You know, you, you think, you know, we always say this, you know, this is the most important election. And I hate to say it, every election we say that. Well, guess what? This is the most important election. And it really is, because this is a choice. This is about people that want to change America. This isn't just different parties. They want to change America. They want to go backwards. And you talk about the 47%, you know, you saw Mitt Romney, the real Mitt Romney. When he's alone with his rich buddies, what he talks about, he talks about us. He, he says, he says we're, we're a bunch of people that don't take responsibility for our lives. And he said, we're, we're basically think we're victims. Anybody here think you're a victim? I see a bunch of strong Americans ready to stand up and kick Mick Romney's ass. That's what I see. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, we're doing great here, you know. One of the best things I ever heard was, Bin Laden dead, General Motors alive. Oh, you like that one? I like that. No, that tells the whole story about what we stand for. He says, you know, he wrote an editorial in the New York Times, and he says Detroit can go bankrupt. He also meant Ohio can go bankrupt. Well, guess what? 
Our great president had the courage to stand up and make a loan to General Motors and Chrysler. He kept them alive, and today we got hundreds of thousands of people back to work. We're making the best cars in the world. The They voted against it. They're against it. And they're against what we stand for. They're against all the things we believe in. You know, they have the courage to go out and say, you know, uh, if, how many saw how many saw our Vice President Biden on television? How many saw that? Was that great? Did you like when he leaned in there on the TV and he said, all you 54-year-olds, listen to me now. Because they're going to take away your Social Security and they're going to take away and send you a voucher. That's what they're about. And you know what? Anybody want that for America? No! We're ready to do this job. And this job is right here. And I'm excited about where we're at. And we're doing the job right now. But you know what? It all starts with you. It starts with all of us getting together. You know, we're talking about get out the vote. You know, how many people here are registered to vote? All right. How many people have voted so far? That's pretty good. They got early voting in Ohio. You know, don't wait to the last minute. We got 24 days. Get out and get to vote. But you know what? We got a great crowd here. But what if we go out and make sure that you brought your aunt, your uncle, your, your wife, and your husband? What if we didn't multiply this group a hundred times? What about that? That's how you win elections. And that's what we're going to need here in Ohio. Ohio is the battleground state of all battleground states. You know, they have that thing, the whole world is watching. Well, they're watching Ohio, and we are going to show them where we stand, and we're going to make sure we put Barack Obama back in the White House for four more years. That's what this is about. I'm excited about it. money. They got more money than we'll ever dream about. You know, all, you know, one guy, this guy owns a casino in Las Vegas, Sheldon Edelson, he, he's putting more money in the campaign than all of labor together. One guy. But you know what? He might have a lot of money. They got the Koch brothers. He's got a lot of money. But guess what? We got the votes and we're going to show them on election day. Votes count. Money don't, man. We're going to be there. That's what this is about. That's how we're going to win this election. So we got to do it. I'm so proud to see my brothers out there from all the trades. UFCW, ask me. Everybody's here. Let's hear it for them. we got to do it together. It's not just the Teamsters. It's all of labor. It's the house of labor. The house of labor. So what we can do is we got to rack it up. Let's hear it for our brothers. And everybody's working everywhere I was going. I was in Cincinnati. I met with AFSME. I met with all the people there. They're all doing the same thing we're doing. They're walking. They're going door to door. This is a hard fight. And, you know, I watch the polls on television. They go up, they go down, they go up, and they go down. In the end, Barack Obama's going to win Ohio. I can see that right now. And share it down. What's going on here? All right. <laughs> Enough of this. You guys are going to be great. I can hardly wait. You know, I always say we were here for SB5. We're here. I can just say one. I got to tell you one other thing. Two years from now, I'll be doing. we doing the same thing. We're going to get rid of Governor John Kasich. He's got to go. to introduce our very, very special guest, a senator from Ohio, Sherrod Brown. Let me just tell you about Sherrod Brown. We go back to 1999 when we were in Washington State at the Battle of Seattle when he were trying to do WTO. We were there with Paul Wellstone. We were there with other great people. And we stood on the steps of the Capitol and we had hundreds of thousands of people from organized labor. And together in our marching, we stopped the WTO. That's what it was about. That was a tremendous victory because we stand 
We're not against free fair trade. We're against tr jobs that send American jobs overseas. And that's what we have right now. And there has been one constant voice in the Senate. That's right. And it's been Sherrod Brown. That's right. And he knows about trade. He a man who only stands up for us. He's out there to make sure we have American jobs in this country. To make sure any trade deal opens up trade in other countries. It's not a one-way street. He knows what it's about. He's the one guy they want to get off. And they fear him. You want to know why? Because he speaks the truth. And he's the guy that's leading the...